one of the most fascinating aspects of the land of the rising sun is its sheer breadth of culture and architecture that has emerged over its long history. Across the country, there are thousands of shrines, temples and castles which date back hundreds of years and are often located against picturesque landscapes. So in this video, we are going to tell you about the top 5 historical sites in Japan. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. So let's start. Number 5. Tomozawa Imperial Villa Memorial Park, Nikko The Tomozawa Imperial Villa Memorial Park is situated in Nikko. It has 106 rooms capacity and it is one of the Japanese most outstanding wooden structure constructions still standing in the kingdom today. The park has a blend of traditional Japanese and modernized western architecture that makes it a popular visiting destination for locals and savvy holiday tourists to the region. It was first the home of relatives of the Tokugawa family members. Authorities of the park later thought it best to move it to a different location, and so it ended up in the city of Nikko, where the temperature is cooler. Number 4. Nikko Toshogu Shrine In the Nikko circle of shrines, the Toshogu Shrine is the most famous. It is one of the UNESCO World Heritage Shrines, the tomb of Tokugawa Ieyasu, who was the first shotgun, during the Edo period, lies on the inside of Toshugu Shrine, where it remains in the peaceful state. In 1936, builders renovated the shrine to make it look like what it is today, a colorful architecture style spectacle that make it stand out from the other shrines in the neighborhood. For example, the Yomi Mon Gate at the shrine is a spectacular masterpiece of craftsmanship that visitors to the premises always love viewing. Number 3. Nikko Nikko Ton carries the slogan that says Nikko is Nippon, which means that Nikko is the typical and exemplary Japanese destination no one wants to miss out on. Its location is in the mountainous region, and it has abundance of shrines and temples to make you feel like that Japan used to be like in past years. To start your grand tour of the historical site, you should first visit Toshugu Shrine, where you will find the grave of Tokugawa Ieyasu, who was the founder and leader of the Tokugawa Shogunate. The Tokugawa Shogun reigned over Japanese dynasty for over 250 years. The shrine is a perfection of beauty, and on arrival you will see an array of pagodas and highly designed wood carving to greet you. Number 2. Kamakura Kamakura holds an important position in Japanese history. The Kamakura period officially started way back in 1192 by military headman Minamoto no Yoritomo, who at the time was the first shogun leader to take the place of prominence. The beginning of the Kamakura period is a sign that signaled the first movement of the Japanese feudalism and the start of samurai culture. It was in 1333 that the period came to an end, at which imperial rule was by then re-established. Often tourists and locals visit the city to feel what it was like back then, when Kamakura was alive. As Kamakura spread, so did Buddhism as well, and to this day, various temple buildings are left standing as a reminder of the past era when Kamakura as well as Buddhism were popular in the Japanese society at the time. Number 1. Samurai Museum in Tokyo Japanese rich history steaming back from 800 years ago is known to have many past samurai fighters. The country is so keen on keeping its samurai history alive that it's built an entire museum dedicated to its memory. The samurai museum is located in Tokyo City in the Shinjuku Kabukichu district. This spectacular museum location is nestled among love hotels, bright lights, and busy streets, where tourists and locals travel each day to go about their business. To some people, the surroundings housing the museum is irregular, but still, it happens to be most visited spot for curious visiting tourists who want to know a bit about the samurai lifestyle. When visiting the museum, you will see fully clothed samurai statues and gear of various descriptions. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Comment your favorite place in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon and get more updates and notifications. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.